Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. How do they view your connection? How do they view you? What do they think about you? What do they wish they could tell you? And what are their intentions at this time? We're going to look at all of that today. So let's get into this. Spirits, angels, guys, what messages do you have for Cancer, please? Messages for Cancer. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Codependency, and then this one fell out as well. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. And this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Codependency for me could be like an unhealthy attachment of some sort. Does it not have to necessarily be addictions but calling in your soulmate and this could be the one uh very similar energy past life re relationship yeah past life relationship you have known each other before so i feel like yes you've already met the romantic partner you seek you have known each other before calling in your soulmate i feel like this is someone that you've been kind of this is a soulmate for you some sort of very strong soulmate tie. Maybe even one that could be a little codependent or unhealthy to, to an extent. Let's see, what do we need to know about this? Cancer. What do we need to know? These are these these for cancer when it comes to love. Four of Wands, Reverse. What do we need to know about these energies for Cancer? The Hangman. Nine of Cups, Reverse. The Fool, Reverse. Interesting. So I don't feel like this has been a very... Um, I don't think this connection, I don't think you've ever actually been with this person in a very, in a serious way, Cancer. It's almost like this is what you want, but, but for some reason it's out of your reach, this connection. It's like you've been wanting to start something new, but there's like a, there's some, something holding you back or someone else back. There's a lack of harmony or balance here. Why is this Four of Wands reverse? Actually, I want to use this deck. Let me clarify these energies for Cancer. Let me clarify these energies, please, for Cancer. Why is the Four of Wands reverse? Death, Scorpio energy, changes, transformations, endings. Two of Wands. Hmm. Knight of Pentacles, reverse. Ace of Swords, reverse. Knight of Cups. I feel like this might be an apology here. An apology for what hasn't happened. For the fact that someone didn't make the right decision or made a choice that led to an ending here. There could have been deception or some sort of conflict or the communication was terrible. Um... This is someone that I feel, I feel like this is an opportunity or a situation with some, with a, a person that you're really interested in where they've probably made you promises that they haven't been able to deliver. I feel like this is you kind of waiting for someone, this two of wands, which I typically don't get that energy from this card, but I am this time. 
Some of you are even waiting for an ending to take place. I'm not sure what that's about, but that's for um, some of you out there. Why is the hangman here? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles reverse. This has been, uh, it's almost like, it's almost like there's been a separation, but I wouldn't call it a breakup. If, <laughs> I know you're probably like, what is she talking about? You know, when you break up with someone, you were in a solidified relationship. You called each other but boyfriend, girlfriend, or husband, wife, or whatever. Um, but I feel like this was like you were separated from each other, but you were never really together. I don't know why I'm getting this energy. Tell me about the strength, Leo energy, ten of pentacles, reverse, five of swords. Again, there was a broken commitment here. This could have even been like... Oh, some of you could be like divorced from this person. There was a loss, a financial loss or something like that in the distant past. Like there was some sort of ending. Whoa, hold on. What is happening here? Let me get one more. Let me get one more for the hangman. It's almost like... I feel like this is going to be more complex than it looks like on the surface because the messages that I'm getting don't go with what I am seeing. I know some of you are like, what is she talking about? Four of Wands, the star. It's almost, man. It's almost like, okay, if you were in a commitment with this person and ended up in a, in a divorce or a separation, that commitment was like a fraud like it was never really real please let me know in the comments if this is resonating for you because i start i'm starting to feel like i'm crazy but i but i know what my in i know what i'm seeing i know what i'm feeling i just can't it just doesn't make sense when i, when I say it and i think it's because this is a very tricky situation you know what i'm seeing is like this is what's on the outside four of wands and someone's been trying to keep this under control with the strength card. It appears like it, that there's control here, but this is a mess. And this could be you or your person, by the way, because this is, both of you could be here. So it's like an illusion of some sort, you know? There's an illusion here. And I feel like that's why I'm saying, like it's almost like some of you were definitely never with this person in a real sense, but if you were in a commitment with this person, there's an illusion. Now, if this is a third party, then this will make a lot more sense, but I don't see any third party cards here. So I don't know if there's someone else involved, but this could definitely make sense where someone's playing house. We'll see if anything else comes up. I'm sorry if I'm confusing anybody, but these cards are confusing me because I know what I'm feeling and what I'm picking up. I know the message I'm getting, but it the cards aren't vibing with that message which usually when that happens it's like spirit is telling me like it's not what you think the lovers reverse gemini energy page of wands reverse again with a choice something someone here made the wrong choice is regretting a choice or there was a separation here tell me about the nine of cups reverse it never really got started though with the page of wands reverse this is something that has like false starts false promises, someone that can never really get anything going. Can I get one more for the Knight of Cups reverse? Again with the choice. Why is the full reverse? The full reverse, very similar to this Page of Wands reverse. Someone didn't plan very well, um, isn't able to have a new beginning. They're probably delayed or um, they're very naive about the journey they're about to embark on. So they don't really look at what they're where they're stepping. High Priestess reverse, Nine of Wands reverse, Knight of Wands. Yeah, this is someone that's like, they just wanna go. I feel like they want to go towards a new beginning, a new start. 
but they're not really looking at what they're going. I feel like there's something here that's being revealed about the fact that a new beginning isn't able to really start or something like that. I have someone that's able to like go really quickly and move on and move quickly or whatever, but it's like they didn't really plan ahead and they're not bringing anything solid right now. Now, please tell me if this is resonating for you. Is this someone that you've been with before and it just, it was a, it was a, an illusion from the beginning. I feel like for some of you, if you were with this person, it wasn't real. And that's why I'm picking up almost like you weren't really together. If this was a divorce it, or, or a separation with like us, you were in a commitment, that was an illusion. There was something that, it's like, it's like almost like you broke up with someone and then you realize that you never really knew them. This is gonna be a very specific reading. I can already tell, I just had one for Sagittarius that was similar. It will not resonate with everyone. Please check out my Cancer playlist if this doesn't resonate at all. But if it does resonate, let me know. I feel like this was an illusion and it's almost like they 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 looked like the one or they appear to be your soulmate or there's someone that you've had a relationship in the past with here. But with codependency, it's almost like there was something off about it, you know? So let's see, how is this person thinking or feeling about you? I'm using my Secret Moon Oracle deck. This is now available in the shop. It's linked down below. Check it out if you're interested. How is this person thinking or feeling about Cancer Spirit? What can you tell us? What are they thinking or feeling about? Cancer. We got I want you. That's not Knight of Wands. Like someone wants to jump all in. But for some reason, I don't think they're going to get very far. Or they can't really move things along. We'll see. Tell me more for Cancer. How are they thinking or feeling? I'm struggling. Can I get one more? You're always on my mind. And bottom of the deck, I don't know what to do. Hmm. You're always on my mind, I want you. So this person, they do desire you. But this I'm struggling card, I don't know. It's almost like... I'm struggling, I don't know what to do. Well, let's see what that means. What do we need to know about this? Spirit. For Cancer. What do we need to know about this? For Cancer. We need to know about this for cancer. What do we need to know about how this person is thinking or feeling about cancer? What do we need to know about how they're thinking or feeling? Well, they're feeling like they're not successful, like they can't really move. There you are, Cancer, by the way, at the chariot. They can't really move, they can't really progress, they can't really be successful. They can't move forward. Empress. Eight of Wands reverse. Yeah, there's no progress here. No growth. I feel like this Empress could have cut communication. Some of you probably have cut communication with this person because I'm picking up that you might be this Empress. Tell me more about the Six of Wands. Eight of Cups. Yeah, there's something here. Someone walked away. Either this person's thinking about you walking away from them or they are trying to walk away and they can't. 
They're not successful. Wow, Ace of Swords reverse again. This could have been because of some sort of bad communication or a deception or something hidden here. Nine of Wands reverse. There's trust issues here. A lot of baggage in this connection. Someone could be like not giving up even despite everything that has happened. Like they still like deep down believe that things could work out. Nine of Swords. There's stress. Tell me about the chariot reverse. Yeah, page of wands reverse. Someone's not able to re even get started. When this person thinks about you or this connection, they think about what's something that didn't even get started. And again, it's almost like if this was a commitment that you were in with this person, it wasn't real even from the beginning. There was something off. Like you weren't honest with each other or someone didn't tell you something or something like that. Perhaps they just, you know, it was like a summer fling or perhaps they pretended or someone had like an affair. I don't know. Something was like not right. Oh, it could have been a third person. Three of cups. Could also be that's Yeah. Okay, so this two of wands is showing up twice with this chariot reverse. Okay, I'm getting two different messages here. I have the two of swords at the bottom reverse with the five of pentacles and the four of swords. There's that struggling card. Thinking, you're always on my mind. I'm struggling and I don't know what to do. Here's the story right here. This is your person. They're thinking of what choice they need to make, what path they need to go down in order to maybe even have a reunion with you or come together with you with this three of cups. But it could also be that they don't know what to do because this is an interference. Like they don't know which path to take because right now, they have something else. Tell me if this is resonating, please, Cancer. Why is this Emperor's Reverse here with the Eight of Wands Reverse? Ten of Cups. There could be a family involved here. The World Reverse. Unfinished Business. Lack of Closure not able to start a new beginning again not able to start something yeah ace of pentacles reverse four of wands once again the same message this is something that appears good on the outside appears stable but is th this is broken there's nothing here that's solid there's there's only loss and i feel like this emperor empress knows it like whatever this is you know this now Cancer. What are their true intentions towards you? What are their true intentions towards Cancer? What is this person's true intentions towards Cancer Spirit? What are their true intentions towards you? Octopus, there's that codependency, entanglements. This is gossip drama. This is unhealthy attachments. And Cobra. Cobra is like, in this deck, this is like someone that is um, learning, like the master and the student. Watchful. I get one more for this cobra. There's this cobra here. Horse. It's like someone's doing research or wanting to, like, watching you. 
but this is about movement. The horse is about movement, freedom. It's also it's almost like someone's watching you or studying you and they think of freedom. But they they're they're attached to something or there's entanglements here. Like an unhealthy attachment, like almost like an obsession. Like I'm picking up like an obsession. Um like they just want to take you away. It's kind of creepy, but that's what I'm getting. It's like, let's go somewhere. Like, let's just run away together. That's what I'm getting. You know? So what's the potential outcome here? What is the potential outcome for the near future with Cancer and this other person? Potential outcome spirit in the near future. The Hierophant Reverse, Page of Cups Reverse. It's a potential outcome here. Yikes. Magician Reverse. Bottom of the deck. King of Cups Reverse, Four of Cups. Unfortunately, Cancer. I mean, this Hierophant Reverse could be something positive. But what I'm seeing here is heartbreak and disappointment. I'm seeing something that's not able to manifest. And someone's really heartbroken about that. It's almost like they've closed themselves off to any any other option. So they're very upset that this isn't manifesting. And it could be that it's not manifesting quickly enough. Or it could be that it's not manifesting at all. But someone's very upset about that. This requires someone to let go of a burden or drop some sort of obligation or rep responsibility um, something's weighing down this connection or perhaps there's a lot of baggage here that someone is still attached to in some way because this is to them their soulmate or there's a connection here that someone can't really escape and that could be you or your person but this higher font reverse it could also mean that someone is breaking free of society's expectations for, for them or um, breaking free of what everybody else is expecting. You know, if it's somebody like a family that's very close or maybe they care too much what people think, just society in general, whatever it is, this could be that someone is breaking free of that um, and just doing whatever they want to do, being rebellious. This could also symbolize someone that is breaking a commitment 